Also, the incidence of KA, yeah, I realized the only thing that will get me there is my own merit. Mm. Not because my parents will not. And now for sure. Mm. For sure, for sure. There's, <laughs> we are in charge. There is no. Nothing. Yes. Actually, no, they were not. Uh, the, I have a Mac here. I don't know if you can see it. This it's, is uh, yeah. this is a Mac of uh, of the village. This was welcome to the village, Kendi, because <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, see now, I'm the, I'm, I'm the older girl. Mm. Chores need to be done. Oh man, you do even know chores? See, I don't. Maybe school? <laughs> no, I, only the few ones for school because in Embu the chores were not tough. Mm. The chores in the shag, in shags are what? Go fetch water in the river or go fetch water in the borehole. So there was a river which was a bit far or the boreholes which were somewhere down. I have gone, I have gone, that year you're asking, one of, so one of the holidays I have gone to fetch water. Then the boreholes, it's not these boreholes these days, as in the ones they've trimmed by, they're sophisticated. <laughs> it's the boreholes which, um, Amazing uh, science work, though, because they... <laughs> <laughs> they will give that paper to her mind. Mama, will take her, 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 her tissue. Oh. <laughs> no, it's okay. Let me just uh, put it here. Because I've been it. That's okay. Okay, if I go on. Yeah. This? So, um... The amazing technology. Yes. Oh, oh. The, the amazing science yeah. behind it. Yeah. So, a borehole, it's deep. And, you know, they, they dig until they find the water. Yes. But then it's because it's in, in, it's in, um, it's in, it's in near the mountain area, at least the, the level of water. It's not so deep, mm -hmm. at least somewhere. But then to get that out, you know, they put a bucket mm -hmm. with a string, mm -hmm. which is tied on, um, there's a, I don't even know how to, there's a, there's a stick. So on one hand, so you need to come here for the, for the force. That so as even though you're 11 or you're 12, yeah. you can actually take a 20 liter yes. tungi up because it's helping you. You know mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. force, it's that momentum. But then once you pull it up, usually yeah. it would go on your two. Uh -huh. So there is one person who's pulling it up, then hold it Holding up. It, yeah. Then the person, there's another person next to where the hole is, pick, picks the bucket, and the person next to the hole is an adult, picks the bucket and <sighs> puts it on aside. Yeah, I can see where you're going. Yes. <laughs> So me, I have decided uh, this thing I have learned, it can't be that complex. Because you say people who've, been, who've lived in the village for long know how to do it. Uh -huh. And I, the, my cousins who are my age knew how to do it. So one time I realized there's no water. I'm like, ah, let me go down. I go to the borehole. I go to, the, to fetch water. I do this thing myself. Then I tell you for yourself, they would put, so you'd rotate it. Then they would put Something a stick here. No, no, it won't lock. Uh -huh. No, the lock is your hand. Your hand. That's is your hand. Is. Yes, is your, is your hand yeah. and your weight. Uh -huh. Then when you go there, you need to balance pushing this and picking uh, yes. the bucket out. <laughs> Richie, I went, pushed this, the bucket out. It, rot it went down. What held me is that I had a long sleeve uh, dress and sweater, yeah. which is what held the barbed wire. Which is, which is what stopped me from getting into the board. What? Yes. That was my introduction to the village. And I look at that, I remember that, I'm like, where? God I had a purpose for my life. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Another holiday. So now my, mat, my mother said, Apana, don't be going there, but you can be going to the further bit. One other memory I have of my mom after we've moved. So you know now she's moved, and even for her, She's, my mom is extremely outgoing. Mm. Moving to a village was never her vision yeah. for her life. And I know this because the other memory I have of us when we moved to the village is that we need to take, to get drinking water. The drinking water was in the Father River, which we call Kadanje for my Meko village people. So we would go to Kadanje for that, for, to the village, uh, to the river. But the, that was like almost a kilometer further. Mm. And we are walking with my mom and I can hear her grumbling under her breath. She's complaining, she's like, why did we have to move to the village? Why does life have to be this hard? What is this life now? Mm. So I can hear her and I can tell it wasn't a personal choice for her to do this. Mm. But 
in that moment, because you know they can, the people, the kids of the village understand. I think I was behind her. She was walking a bit mm. fast. Do you know I had something? You know how you hear something pass quickly. Mm. Kumbe, they are throwing stones at me. Why? Just uchokozi. Oh, that's a version of playing. No, it's at night, so they want to harm me. What? Yes, but I'm, imagine it's innocent harm. I, I don't think it's harm yes, of yes, yes. bad harm, or it's it's, it's just naughty mm. the, that cheekiness mm, of, mm, of mm, whatever. Mm. So you can imagine now, as in the, you combine all of that, I just don't like it. I so really for you, everything like that's coming, even if it's a game, it's negative. Yes. At this time, because what are we doing here? Yeah. No, but that was not a game. That's when they wanted to hurt me. Oh, that one they wanted to hurt you. Because later they hit me and I felt pain and I wow. and I shouted because my mom had left me a bit. I shouted and she told me, "Ah, ah come next to me." Then she shouted at them and told them, "Stop, stop uh, attacking her." Yeah. So you you loathed this experience. Oh, I didn't like the village. At all. Like it's. Did you have you? So you didn't even have friends from the village. No, only my cousins. Because mm, yeah. where you moved was like a homestead with. Yeah, yeah you know the the yes, setup of the, setup the village, of the village. Is where the grandpa's house is here. Then the different brothers have been given land mm. close by. Yeah. And you're right. You told me your mom was a father. The mom was the one who made it. Yes. By the time she was moving out. Yes. So I, uh, she didn't. Going back, that was not her vision mm. for it. Yeah, and even seeing who she's become after, um, for sure the village was. It's uh, it was a move that needed to be made because we were struggling. Um, did down. that did that hinder your relationship then with your lower with your younger siblings? Because you see the the mm. life where you're moving meeting them is boarding school where you're so happy to be away mm. from home because mm. of soft life, mm -hmm. and then when you're meeting your younger siblings. Mm. Even your older sibling, mm. you're meeting them now in this new setting mm. that is... Yeah, yeah. We, we, we didn't... It's now that we are developing a relationship with each other wow. in our adult life. Because also, we were rarely there. I was rarely mm. um, home. Because holiday, we've not nurtured them because of the age difference. Yes. Yeah. Did they also go to boarding? Late, they Later did. Later on. Yes, they did. But and for them, for sure, they needed to. Because being in the village was even now... In the schools, them. yes, yes. The, the, for the quality of education. So what about now, Did that does that affect the relationship you have with your dad? Yeah, because I'm also seeing him rarely. You and see, he's the reason why all this yes, has happened? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Though, yeah, I didn't hate him for it, but I wondered, I'm like, the route to, you went back to school so you could have a good life. I th as in, I thought about it, I mm. wondered. And I remember one time, actually, I remember one time asking him the question. Then I'm like, but dad, you, told, you said you, we were doing this so that we can have a better life. And he tried, he didn't dismiss me. Mm. He explained to me, told me, you know, candy pension. You know, for our folks, they lived for the government job because there was the job security and everything. Then he explained to me that the jobs he was getting were only contract jobs. There's no way he was going to risk, take the risk of getting a contract job. He had, he had gotten contract jobs in the UN when he finished. Mm. He got contract jobs in the UN, but then the only contract jobs. It's like if I take the contract job, then they don't renew. What, what will happen? But you see, at the time, you, UN always works like that anyway. Mm. Mm -hmm. But in, it takes a level of risk taking or something yep. for, for someone to be able to do that. Ooh, this story of yours is, it's its a lot, but it's also so eye-opening. Mm. That's what I love about it. You're, mm. you're, it's eye-opening. And, and this is a story of many people, mm. very many people, unexpected change. Mm. Um, class 8. Yes. So class 8, I've shown up, I'm index 28. I tell myself, at index 28, you will not get into Kenya. You will, there was a school across St. Ursula where most of the people who are in um, St. Ursula used to go there. I can't mm. remember what the name is called, the, their high school is called. Uh, and, and so I was like, you go back to reading how you, 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 you read. And then I relied on my mom. You know, my mom, we are, were used to her helping me mm. um, study and everything. So I did the exam and I think I was 10th or something. Uh, what do you mean you relied on your mom? I relied on but my mom. But you're boarding. Yes, as in during the holiday. So I studied, and then when I would go on holiday, I would rely on her to help me. Oh, to teach you. To, to okay. help me, to, okay. help, to teach me and to okay. help me, yeah. Um, and and so when class eight came, remember the time it was, uh, we used to do 
over 700. Yes, it was yes. Seven, out of 700. It was out of 700. Yeah. At least I was able to get over 500. That's good. Yeah, which was helpful because that got me. It didn't get me into Kilungu, no, of course it did get me into Kenya High. Kenya High, but it got me into Kenya. And rightly so, because also the incidence of KA, I realized the only thing that will get me there is my own merit. Mm. Not because my parents will not, and now for sure. Mm. For sure, for sure. There's, <laughs> we are in shags. There's no, way. yes. There's, yeah. And I loved the fact that as much as we are in shags, I love the fact that I'm the, I was the one who was living, because um, in Eastern, the schools that were good, Embu was known to have good schools. Mm. So I loved the fact that I was leaving the Meru district to go to school in Embu. Mm. So that sort of still made me feel like I'm an outlier. Mm. And it gave me some sort of confidence. Okay. Yeah. So you did well. I mean, I, I did. Yeah. For 90, that's, you did over 70 in terms of mean grade. Yes, I did. You got what I mean? Yes. That, that was. I, I did over 70, yes. Because I, yeah. You got over 500. I got over 500, yeah. And then from that, you trans. And what year is this? Now that is 93. 1993. Yes. So you join Kearney High School. In 94. In 1994. Yes. Okay. We'll come back and continue from that. Let's take a, let's take a WUSA break. 